Morgan Pekma, Editor-in-Chief of City and State, and this is Last Look. As you can see, we are coming to you from Times Square today at the Association for a Better New York's Breakfast about Super Bowl 48. Our guest today is Al Kelly. He's the President and CEO of the New Jersey New York Super Bowl Host Committee and the former President of American Express. Al Kelly, thank you so much for joining us today. Before you became president of the Super Bowl committee, you were the president of American Express. How has that uh, prior experience informed your work putting together the Super Bowl? Well, I think in two ways it's uh, informed my work. Number one, it's all about leadership and putting the right talent in place. And that's certainly something that I learned at American Express. And here, with a small business, in many ways, every position you hire is even that much more precious because of the impact any one person can have that does have in a small business. Secondly, American Express was so service oriented and it was about making sure that people really felt valued when they carried our products and very similar here. We want to make sure that people who come to be guests at, and, or go to the game or both when they come to New York City or to come to New Jersey, they feel very, very welcome. They feel special. And American Express obviously is a great sponsor of so many major sporting events. Did you take anything away from your experience having sponsored events to this, you know, now being on the flip side of the equation? Well, certainly I had the great pleasure at American Express to attend any number of events from Olympics to, to Super Bowls. And certainly things that I thought went well and things that I didn't think went as well were, were lessons that I was able to take into this job and hopefully I'm applying them properly here. Yeah. And I know that MWBEs have been a big part of this, the Super Bowl bid. Can you talk about uh, the involvement that MWBEs have, have, have played? The uh, National Football League has a program called Business Connect that we are working very closely with them on. And, and Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business is our, our sponsor. And what we're trying to do, is, what we are doing, is signing up as many women and minority owned firms as possible. We have them in a database. We're, we're training them and very importantly introducing them to all of the various vendors of the league and of, of our host committee so that when we go to buy anything, we look at that database first to see if we can find the services or product that we need from that database. And the NFL suppliers and vendors and partners are doing the very same thing. Taking on such a massive endeavor, what's most surprised you about your, your several years now at the helm of the Super Bowl committee? Well, I think before I went into this, I would have probably naively thought it's a football game. What's the big deal? Uh, obviously, it's the championship of, of football. But the reality is that a, a Super Bowl is a, a huge deal. It's a huge deal for the region in which it, it is played. And it has, it's a platform for doing so many things that if you really want to take advantage of this, this special opportunity to have a Super Bowl in your region and make sure that you hit on all cylinders in terms of the benefits that are, uh, accrue to the region, you want to make sure you plan it exquisitely well. Beyond the economic impact uh, at the time of the game, what do you think will be the enduring legacy of the Super Bowl? Well, the host committee is working very hard on a number of legacy efforts, environmental efforts, as well as we have a foundation that's focused on school-aged children and the facilities they use after school, in the evenings, on weekends, in the summer. And we've, we're looking to raise at least $5 million and do a whole bunch of projects around the region. We've already green-lighted 30 different projects on both sides of the Hudson, playgrounds, playing fields, r renovating and restoring parts of uh, community uh, houses and community centers for school-age kids that are truly oasises for them and they, they add support to the support that these young people get at home and that they get in school. With three months remaining until the game, uh, what are your principal concerns right now? What are you focused on in terms of the preparations? Well, I think with three months to go, it's all about execution. We have kind of know what has to get done. Now it's a matter of executing in a high-quality fashion, whether that's event, event planning, or transportation planning or, or security planning or weather preparedness planning. It's all now making sure that our plans are very buttoned up, test driving those plans, rechecking those plans, and then obviously as we get into the last 10 days, just executing like crazy. Any predictions on who's going to be in the Super Bowl? You know, I haven't, it's funny, I've been so busy, I actually haven't really even been able to follow the NFL as closely this year as I have 
in, in normal years. Uh, and that's certainly you can tell that by looking at my fantasy team that's one in six. So I don't know who's going to be in the game. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a New York team, unfortunately. Well, you never say never, but we'll see what happens. Al Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you, pleasure. Thank you. And that's it for this episode of Last Look. For more episodes, please join us on the web at cityandstateny.com.